A meeting between government officials and members of the MKMVA, Liberation Struggle War Veterans, the Azanian People's Liberation Army and the Azanian National Liberation Army turned Saba. The former liberation veterans met with Ministers Mudize, Gungubele and Deputy Minister Makwela to raise their grievances but reportedly got angry because they were promised a meeting with the Deputy President David Mabuza who did not show up. That's when the situation took a turn for the worst and the officials were held against their will for three hours. A situation they say is unlawful and unacceptable. What we will not tolerate is deliberate acts of disregarding the rights of others because that is criminal. And when the police came in there, they were not dealing with anything else but the violation of other people's rights. But Murise further refutes her claims that she and her counterparts being held hostage was a sign of a failed state. I don't think so. I think South Africa um, is being put to a test. I think thus far we must be proud that even though yesterday, yes, um, police came in to break up the hostage situation, so far we have been able to hold it very, very tightly for the state not to go overboard in the use of, of, of force, for the state to listen more than it uses force, and I think that is a plus for the democracy of South Africa. 56 people, including seven women, have since been arrested and are likely to face charges of kidnapping. As Stern Moody says, says she will not interfere in this case. Precisely because I'm a military vet, especially from the non-statutory forces, we expect them to have gone through so much hell that Tabang and I went through that we respect every right of every, every citizen because we had to fight for it. We had to give up our youth to protect and ensure that our children's children don't go through what our grandmothers went through. Therefore, it will not be us asking for the dropping of the charges. Um, maybe Minister Gungumbele will look at that and the presidency, but I speak in the name of the Deputy Minister and I that we will not interfere. While government explains some efforts that it has made to address the plight of military veterans, including the review of the Pension Act and providing social relief distress amongst others, Mudise has however vowed to investigate why the concerns of military veterans have not been addressed and has also promised to meet them again. Natasha Piri, SABC News, Johannesburg.